Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, it's 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on 12.27.2013. What I want to do is share the dream that I had right before waking up. Um, and then what I'm going to do is private message the, the people that were in this dream. If you do not receive a private message from me today within the next half hour, then you weren't in my dream. I don't want anybody wondering or, you know, questioning in the comments, you know, was I in this dream or not, or, or worrying. That's the biggest part is I do not want anybody worrying. And I'm telling you in the year 2014, when I begin to make videos, they're going to be on the word of God. I am going to be very careful with visions and dreams. Very careful. It's just a word for everybody. Because I, you know, we all need to mature and grow and learn. I want to address this dream. In my dream, and it happened right before I woke up, and as soon as I woke up, the Holy Spirit fell upon me and it has not left. In three hours that it has not left, I'm still feeling the Holy Spirit. In my dream, I was on a three-way conference call. And I'm not going to say the other persons. Um, so it was me and the other person. And if you, you'll get a PM if you're on the call. And the third person was their father. And I want you to pray with me on this. Um, I was explaining to them about how we can still do uh, what Jesus said we can do. He said, don't be amazed. Greater things shall, this, uh, shall you do. Matter of fact, in Mark 13, it says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. I'm talking about the laying on of hands. I'm talking about being fully baptized in the Holy Ghost, which I was. And receiving the dunamis power to operate uh, under the anointing to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover uh, power and authority over uh, demons. Uh, that in a nutshell, having apostolic power. And I was explaining this uh, to this brother. Uh, on the phone that we could still do this and he said that he was because of all the failures and and deception and confusion and fear and false prophecies that he has encountered uh, in 2013 on YouTube and Facebook he was now going to go back to being a cessationalist and so I had to look up the word um, and I, which I'm going to do right now, sensationalist. Let's just flow together with this, right? And basically it means that they believe that the gifts that Christ said that we can operate in were only uh, for then and not for now. I had to look this up. Uh, that the Holy Spirit purpose of impartations has expired. That's how they believe. And that he was going back to this belief because of all the lies and deception he'd encountered. And this is a man that's operating in the gift, that the sign gifts have ceased. I'm here to tell you they have not ceased. Jesus Christ, he said that I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is not an Indian giver. He says you shall receive gifts. And he lists the gifts of healing and faith and um I'm going to be addressing those in 2014 exactly who we are in Christ and, and what we've given power and authority to do and that we can still operate in these gifts. They were never taken away. That's a lie from Satan. Um, prophesying, we can no longer prophesy anymore. And so he said he was converting back to, now remember this is just a dream. He was going to convert back to cessationalist and go be UBC. I'm going to say that again. U, B, C. Where can I? I'll just, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I'm doing everything decently in order. 
I don't want any confusion over this. He's, these were his exact words. And, and like I said, he said, I'm going back to UBC. He said that three times. UBC, cessationalist. That's what he was going to do. I probably spelled that wrong, but that's not the point. And so on the phone, I was really concerned because he was a gifted man that had been let down by other people. And therefore, he was losing faith in his gift that God had given him, and his, he was going to stop his calling. Now, I, I said I'm going to private message this person, so there won't be any confusion in this. And so I said, I'm saying UBC, UBC, because when, when I grew up, a similar thing happened to me, and I was going to what's called the UPC, the United Pentecostal Church of Christ. And they, they it was, I got up, uh, hooked up into a cult at a very young age of 16 and backslid. So maybe that's why the Lord showed me this dream. But I, I was able to overcome by my faith and by the prayers of many. And so these are UPC as United Pentecostals. And so I asked him, I said, UBC, I said, does that stand for something like United Baptist? And then his father had been uh, eavesdropping on our phone call for the entire time of this person that I'm going to send this to. But, uh, you know, dreams can be symbolic, too. They can also be cleansing. It's, you know, you have to take a study uh, biblically or take a, a class on, you know, dream interpretation. Not a New Age thing. I mean, a, a Bible sound doctrine uh, study. Uh, and his father came on the line. He said, you're correct, sir. He was now addressing me. He was speaking for him and his son. He was having an influence over his son to take him back to ha uh, away from his calling and his gifting that God had gave him. He said, "We're it's United uh, Baptist, and uh, that's how I, that's how I raised him, and that's how he's going to believe." And I and I said the person's name. I've never spoken to him in real life, only through. Uh, social interactions uh, on Facebook and YouTube but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can talk to him now and I said is this true and then I said his name and he said well, well whatever my father said I said you're gonna go back to uh, this Baptist and 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 not believe in the gifts anymore and I'm not saying they don't I'm just sharing the dream and, and the father said you've heard correct now uh, leave my son alone and I said, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I didn't know you were on the other line. Um, God bless you both. And then the phone call ended. And then I woke up and just was socked with the Holy Spirit. And I wasn't even going to release this until I looked up UBC just now. And there really is a UBC. It's the United Baptist Church, just like the man said on the phone in my dream. Um, and I'm just showing you in the feed where some of the locations are. There's Laredo, Texas, Chicago. Now I know this is Springfield, Missouri. That's where my father lived. I know that I, I know this is of the Lord, Decatur. I just want to share this. I, I know nothing of this denomination and I don't believe in denominations at all. Um, but I believe that this, the Lord showed me this dream for a reason. And so we can operate in the, the power. Jesus said you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. To say that he would then take away that power is to say that he's different than he was when he says I'm the same as I was yesterday and that I'll never change. Lo, I am with you always, even till the end of time, saints. I cannot say that loud enough that the devil is a liar and that the power of Jesus that rose him off the cross is the same today as it was 2,000 years ago before the, the worlds were framed. He is. And when they came unto him, he said, he said, who should we say sent us? And he said, you tell him that I am. And if you don't believe me for who I claim to be, then believe me for the signs that have followed me. The, 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 the sick are healed, the lame walk, the gospel's being preached. Jo uh, Jesus Christ said, you go and tell him, referring to John the Baptist in prison, that I am the one. 
And if you don't believe me for what I'm saying, then look at the signs that I'm performing. My goodness saints. That was his answer, and it's still his answer to this day in 2013. And anybody preaching any other gospel is preaching a false gospel in a dead church. Denominations put man-made limits on an unlimited holy God. So let me quit. And someone's questioned me about my 2013 prophecy about a federal person shall be killed. And I know what it's like to be questioned uh, because I've questioned others' prophecies. So uh, in regards to my 2013 prophecy, which I won't be doing for 2014, uh, I've accepted correction on that and I'm just not going to do it. I just want to point out to you that only at 90 minutes from where I live in 2013, there was Sandra Koch, a federal, someone working at the federal label, was murdered. What I said did come to pass. If it's from the Lord, it will come to pass. Do you see this? I, I don't mind being questioned, but if you're going to question me in condemnation, you need to have your facts straight. It happened, and a matter of fact, it happened 90 minutes from where I live. Someone at the federal level was murdered. And they're not really discussing how she was murdered. Okay, that's all I have to say. May, the, may God bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace. I love you all. I'm all here for Jesus. And I, uh, I'm, for the person I just mentioned on this dream, I will be sending you a PM. God bless you all mightily and prepare for the outpouring because surely it is upon us.